Welcome, Math 20-3, to Lesson 5.2. Now, I know you're not supposed to use technology on the program of studies, but in this case, we're going to probably find a lot easier than the workbook uh, than what you have. So, what I'm going to advise you to do is you have to draw out uh, component parts of diagrams, and I'm going to show you how to use technology to make it really easy on yourself. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go to this thing called Google, and type the word SketchUp, okay? Now, you can go SketchUp free, because right now, it's completely free, all right? Um, until the end of the year, I'm pretty sure it's free anyways for the basic stuff. Start modeling. Now, see, mine's logged in, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, I don't want to save. Okay, it's going to ask you for your account. All you have to do is log in with your e at my.ecsrd Google account and you can access this screen. Okay, uh, if you have any difficulties, please let me know of getting on to the SketchUp. We're going to create a new, and we're going to use millimeters because I see a lot of our stuff, uh, but you can also switch out the units afterwards. I'm going to do millimeters and I'm going to say start a template. First thing we're going to do we don't need this person for reference because we don't actually have to draw things to scale for people. Okay? Now I'm looking at the first example and they give a lovely little 3D diagram of something here. Okay? Uh, in case you've never used SketchUp before, on the left hand side, because you've ha in my construction class I did I ask you to do it, here's the select tool. This erases things, this paints stuff, this creates stuff from freehand sketch. Okay? Now, there is, in fact, a little back button down here, which is off the screen. Um, so if you do something like this, click, oh, bow no, shouldn't do that, shouldn't do that. It's going to create a solid. And it's creating stuff. And like, oh, no, it's making a big mess. Ah! I just go to my backspace. I just keep clicking back until I make it back to what I'm doing. Or I grab the selection tool, select all the stuff I made a mistake on, hit delete. Okay, I'll do that again. Kind of seems like it's a waste of time, but perhaps maybe not. Okay, and now it keeps going. So I'm gonna do a select. I can select a sur. Uh, so I'm gonna. Se I'm selecting an edge. So if I have to hold another edge down, I had shift key down on my keyboard. Click, 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 and the face, dotted face. Now I hit delete on my keyboard, and it's all gone. But we don't really need to do any of that anyways. Okay, so what we're going to do with uh, this is on the far right hand side, you watch my mouse, okay, the tools are here, okay, and we're going to go to the one where it says components. And lo and behold, it could be on home, if it's on home, click on this little box here. We have a 3D warehouse. What I'm going to have you do is pick pictures to draw. And you're going to simply, you can take screenshots of the ones you're doing. Okay. Um, we're going to start with the one they have, a bird house. Bird house. Hit enter. All right. And I'm just going to pick the one that looks similar to the example. At, make things simple on yourself. Find anything 3D here. Click on bird house. Uh-oh. I'm gonna can I click on that one? Nope, doesn't want to let me do that one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find another one that looks pretty simple. All right, whoa, that's huge. Okay, zoom out. I'm just using my mouse key. Okay, zoom out. All right, fine, whatever. And I'm just gonna scroll up here. Okay, and I'm gonna close the components. Okay, you could have also if I clicked on components again, I could just Hit it over here on the right hand side. Now here's what you want to be able to do. I noticed it doesn't have the dimensions, which I can easily get. There's a little tape measure here, by the way. Okay. And there is a dimensions tool. Um, I'm going to click on that. But before I get there, I'm going to change the unit so it's not just in millimeters. And that would be under Model Info. Whoops, let's close that component section. 
Model info. Now what you're seeing now is you can actually change all your units. Right now it's in millimeters. I could change it to centimeters and I can make it as precise as whole centimeters. Or if I want one decimal place, I can have one decimal place, which can be useful if you'd like. Um, so you can switch to inches if you want. Okay, whole number inches. You can switch to whole number centimeters. Okay, this is the precision of the zeros. You want one decimal place, two decimal places, etc. If I want whole numbers, okay, this is the centimeters, the millimeters, or meters. Or this is feet, this is inches, and half inches. Okay, I'm going to just use this one in uh, centimeters and whole centimeters. Okay, so we're going to close the model info. I've got this little tool that is currently on. It's going to give me a measurement here. So watch this. I click on the endpoint. It's nice if they're already done for you. It's going to measure the distance out. So I click on this other endpoint. I slide my mouse back and say, hey, tell me how big that is. 579 centimeters. Whoa, this person made a birdhouse the size of a greenhouse. That's like 5.8 meters. In fact, that's almost as big as my physical house. All right, again, I'm going to use this tool. I'm going to click on an endpoint way up here, maybe, just to say, well, let's go to the midpoint here. Bam, straight down, endpoint, and bring it out. Look at that. Ta da! And how wide is this thing? Let's find out. Click on the endpoint. Whoops, wrong one. I'm going to grab a different endpoint, grab a measure to here, slide out. Okay, they made it square. If I want to know how big this peak is, I click on that endpoint, click on the endpoint, slide my mouse out, it tells me how big it is. Okay? See, it gives you all the measurements. Oh, I wonder how long this little tube is. That's the midpoint of the birdhouse. I don't want the midpoint of the birdhouse, so I'm going to just bring my rotating tool out so I can find this thing if I can. Oh, it's all a component. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing to work. It may not work great, but... Uh, let's see. There. I, I double-clicked on the cylinder just to make see how big this thing is. All right. End point. Out. Oh, I just figured it out. It just knew exactly what I was looking for. Ta-da! I, I just clicked on one of it, and it just made it there. All right. So, now I can click out of here, by the way. This is a component. I can teach you later if you want to know what that's all about. So why do I have all this? So I have all the measurements. I should even get that measurement of that circle. Can I do it? Let's find out, because I don't know if I can. Oh, it's not doing the measurement tool, but if, I, if it doesn't work, what you can do is double click things sometimes. It opens up the properties of it. I'm gonna click the circle. Now, I've, now it's found the circle. So if I click on the measuring device of that one, it's gonna measure the diameter. Look at that. I can slide it out. Whoa, there's the diameter, 287. Okay. Now, why did I do all this? I can zoom in and zoom out with my mouse. Now, on the far right-hand side, you've got views, which is the key thing. In, in case you can't visualize in your head, what does it look like with your different components? Okay. It has it built into this. If you can get a 3D object, any 3D object, you can use your views. Here we go. Click views. Well... What does it look like from the front? Here's the front. Now what you can do with this is you can literally draw what you see and label things, okay? That's important. What does the top view look like? Ta-da! That's why I had all those stuff there, okay? Top view. Again, you are responsible for drawing shapes from 3D into two dimensions, so you'd have to draw this. What does the back view look like? Ta-da! Why did I add all those labels, those fancy labels? Because it tells me the dimensions that I need to in address. If I can't find one, I'll add one. Okay, it's that easy. Click there, click there, slider out. Oh, voila, I can add that to the label, as long as it's proportion. Okay, what does a side view look like? There it is. All the information from a side view is there. Okay, other side view. Ta-da! You're responsible on your assignment to practice build your skills. Now, it suggests that you do one, two, three, four, okay? Different ones of labeling the sides. In fact, you've got five of them. You have to draw uh, the parts of them and then what makes them up. Ta-da! You can use 
SketchUp to get and acquire from the components, from the warehouse, any simple shapes that you would like that model the ones in your workbook, and you can use the view to see them and then draw them to scale. That is the lesson practice. I want you to do questions one through five, okay, on your uh, build your skills. Ideally, if you can get through seven, try to pick three or four different three-dimensional objects and draw them. Uh, you can even literally uh, take screenshots of these things and then just draw over them if you have to. All right, that is it for 5.2 scale representations.